The Butte County Board of Supervisors is looking at ways to address rent stabilization in mobile home parks. Action News Now reporter Chloe Curtis is live outside of board chambers. And Chloe, you were in the meeting today. What are they doing to help? The Department of Employment and Social Services led outreach to owners and people living at mobile home parks in the county in April and May. They held community meetings and a survey. The board asked staff to gather information about mobile home parks in the county and unincorporated areas. In December, a memorandum was sent with park registration data from the California Department of House and Community Development. Today, the findings of the survey and outreach were shared at the supervisors meeting. And the survey that our department did uh, was very telling that there are many in mobile home parks that uh, are on a fixed income and with raising uh, rents, they're having a problem living and paying other bills. So we're looking at ways to possibly help those folks. My last rent increase was eight and a half percent, which <coughs> was a surprise. And I'm on a fixed income, but honestly, if I was still working at the university, I did not see eight and a half percent increase in my salary anyway. Some of the feedback showed people at the parks were worried about rent hikes, mortgages, financial hardships posed by utility costs and inaccurate meters, and a need for owner and manager accountability intending to the properties and mobile homes. The presentation showed the average rent was $650, and many of the people surveyed are on a fixed income. Data also showed a majority are living on less than $25,000 income. And this was just an informational presentation. So going forward, the board has asked the department to come back with ways to help those people on fixed incomes living in mobile home parks. Live in Oroville, Chloe Curtis, Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. Great. Thank you very much, Chloe. The department says there's an array of needs among owners and residents and that both would benefit from outreach and support programs. Information going forward.